All right, we should be live. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to RTC TV 4s coverage of Rochester Middle School baseball, where we have the Rochester Zebras against the Winnemac Warriors here tonight at uh, Rochester's home field outside of their high school and middle school, actually, I should say. My name is Dakota Hayden, and I will be running the show solo here tonight until uh, my counterpart, Jeremy Swango, here comes on, which will be in a little bit. But for right now, we got the Zebras out there practicing, uh, getting ready for their ball game, throwing pitches around, hitting balls out, and catching them, making sure their outfield game is on top tier uh, for now. And the game I would, oh, I'm sorry, North Miami Warriors, not Winnemac Warriors. I wasn't even looking at my thing right now. I saw Warriors and assumed Winnemac. My mistake, ladies and gents, but that is fine. We all make mistakes, I guess. Um, but yes, like I said, they're out, they're out there practicing, hitting stuff around, and we should have a ball game here in a couple of minutes. I will go ahead and apologize, ladies and gents, for right now the scoreboard. We would have a scoreboard camera, but uh, as soon as my counterpart gets here, we'll get more working on that. But for right now, if any action occurs before he gets here, I will keep you updated on all things that is going on on the board. So you can't see it right now. All right. So we'll let the boys practice a little bit, and I'll get right back with you here in a little bit. All right, it looks like we're getting set up for the first pitch of the night tonight to set things off between the Zebras and the Warriors. We got to be a see what that first pitch came up to. Looking to be a ball there. We got number 17 for the Zebras up there, Huffman, throwing the pitches on the mound and batting. If I can see his number, I'll tell you exactly who's up there. Gonna take a second ball, number 18 for the Warriors, who is going to be Colton Floor. Is up there hitting for the North Miami Warriors here to start off the night. Pitch was a bit low by Huffman. That's going to be the third ball. He's setting up to line up for the next one. Tosses up. It's going to be the fourth ball. He's going to get his base. Floor's going to take first. And we have, I do believe, number 56, Austin Smith, up to the plate now. Huffman still throwing a little bit short. Setting up for the second pitch. Oh. Thought he might have almost hit the batter there a little bit. A bit close. Give me a second ball. Down and short. Runner on first. He's going to steal second. Floor is going to make his way from first to second. He does, in fact, steal that second base. Let's see if Smith can get a grip here on the ball. It's a good pitch by Huffman getting the first strike on the board. Smith's just looking for that right, that right throw to get it square right down the midfield. Takes a swing and a miss. That'll be a second strike. We got a full count on the board. Let's see what Huffman can throw here. Lobbing the ball straight up. And way out over my head and into the parking lot over at the high school. 
Well, that might be an exaggeration, but it's in it's in the street behind me. That popped it way up. It's gonna be a foul ball. It's gonna keep the full count. Still surviving out here is Smith. A bit low. That'll walk him. He's gonna take his base. And in the process of that, Floor was able to steal third base, moving himself from second to third, putting him in prime position to get for the next batter to get an RBI. Or anything, or hit him in. And the next batter, speaking of which, is going to be Brayden Binion. And I hope I pronounced these last names right, so if I butcher them, I apologize. It's going to be a first strike there for Binion. See if Huffman can keep those throws going. Looks like the ball was able to just barely tap the bat and become a foul ball for for Binion. I think our first base runner, Smith, tried to steal second. Because of the foul ball, he's getting sent back to first. Another pitch, solid pitch. And that's third strike. That strikes him out. First strikeout for Huffman here in tonight's matchup. And stepping up to bat, number 16, Joey Horn. Pitch kind of looked good to me, but I'm just calling ball. Then again, I'm in a precarious spot, so might not be able to see as well as the ump can here from here. But a ball. That's a strike. Count 1-1 one, one for uh, Joey Horn. It looks like uh, Horn's going to get hit by the ball, hit by the pitch. He's going to send him automatically to first base. And now next up to bat for the North Miami Warriors, we got Ryan McGuire, number 25. Low pitch, he swung for it. Gonna get him a strike, but he's also going to get a runner in. Steal home, number 18. Colton Floor was finally able to make all his way around and steal home base and score a first point for North Miami Warriors. First team to score tonight. We got a hit, he pops it straight up, and the catcher was able to catch him out. Number 25, Ryan McGuire, able to just pop that straight up, but uh, our catcher for the Zebras, number 20, Medina, was able to catch that pop up and get him out. Making it two outs now for the North Miami Warriors as number 12, Landon Hunt, steps up to bat. Looks like we got number 56, Austin Smith, able to steal home. Get another score in for the Warriors. Got a 
hit. Hunt was able to hit it. He got caught. And it gets him out. It's three outs for the North Miami Warriors, able to keep a score up at two. And now it's the Zebras' turn to take up bat. North Miami Warriors heading out to the outfield to toss the ball around, kind of warm up their throwing arms as they take out to the field for the first time tonight. And Zebras out off here on the side practicing their swings, getting their arms all stretched out, ready to bat for the first time tonight, see if the Zebras can catch up to the North Miami Warriors already lead at 2-0. So we'll see if the Zebras can catch up to that. Not that any of you at home would have to concern yourselves with it, but it is a really nice and lovely day out here for baseball. Although, be it a little bit hot, occasionally the occasional cloud will pop up and block the sun's heat from it, so it's it's pretty nice outside, actually, if I had to give it to it. As long as the breeze keeps up and keeps it, you know, mildly all right, you know, cool off a little bit here. The weather is really good for baseball, so a lovely night tonight for these young men to play some ball. Uh, let's see, for pitching for the North Miami Warriors, if I'm reading correctly, which my eyesight isn't as good as it used to be, we should have number 55 out there on the uh, mound, Brandon Binion, or Braden Binion. Once again, I apologize for any butchering of names. I will try my best, but I can't guarantee that my best is good enough for these pronunciations of names. But that's okay. Feel free to yell at me if you ever see me in public. All right, stepping up to bat. First for the Zebras. If I can get a number, I'll get his name. But until then, we'll see how this first pitch goes. It's going to be a ball. First pitch for the Warriors, a ball. Number 11, Zinc up to bat for the Rochester Zebras. Hustling the ball again, it's a hit, but that's going to be a foul ball. He wants it, Zink wants a hit. Bit off for Benny in second pitch, giving him another, or third pitch, my bad. Give him two balls, one strike. 2-1 on the board for Zink. Let's see if he can stay alive. He's able to get make contact with that one, sending it out right into the hands. I do believe that's a shortstop. Number 56, way back there, Austin Smith, able to catch him out. And now up to bat, we have number three for the Rochester Zebras. I'm going to try and – I got it written down 
roster here, so I'm going to try and pronounce his name, and if I butcher it, I apologize, but McLaughlin, and he was able to get a solid hit and get on to first. He's going for second. I think that's going to be a double for him. Yep, he's staying on second. Now we got number 10. Hunting up to bat. First pitch for Hunting ended up being a strike. <laughs> Benny and looking to strike him out, taking his time on the pitch. Then that's going to be a second ball. Also keep an eye on the back of his head, watching out for, I do believe McLaughlin up back there on second. Low pitch, getting a third ball on the board. McLaughlin making it to third, stealing third. Was the ball a bit high enough to the side? That's going to be his third or fourth, third ball. Obviously, I can't count. Scoreboard reading 3 1 there for Hunting. See what he can do. A bit off to the side. That's going to be his fourth ball. It's going to get him his base. I got number 20 for the Zebras. Medina. As my roster sheet says. Up to bat. See what he can do. From the pitch is a solid connect. He's going for first. He's able to get a runner in. He's going to bring up the score for the Zebras. One, put him on the board. And also get him a first on top of that. A solid, nice hit from Medina. Just walked right up and just nailed it. And next up to bat for the Rochester Zebras, we have number six, Kelly, up to bat. Looks like we got the count on the board now for our pitcher. 
And for a batter, 2-0. See if Benian can get Kelly here to strike out. Oh, he's paying attention to the back of his eye, throwing back to first, trying to get out a runner on thirst, which I do believe is Medina, if I remember correctly. Again, my vision's fading and my memory's fading too, so I'll try and keep track here as best as I can. Again, our pitcher looking back at first base, making sure first baseman stays put where he is. Counts now on 3-1. It's going to be a fourth ball. He's going to walk him. going to get his base at first. Zebra still sitting with two outs here in the bottom of the first. Still looking to catch up to that North Miami Warrior lead of two. So they're only one behind, so they're halfway there. See if they can keep anything going here. Looks like the team's gathering up to talk a little bit of strategy here while the ump brushes off home plate. I had to point out on the umpires out here tonight, they are wearing star and striped uniforms, which I thoroughly enjoy. Makes it a little bit more, it looks a little bit nicer than the bland old colors that they usually wear. Really makes them pop out. I enjoy it. Next up to bat for the Zebras, we got number 13, Aiden Smith. He'll be up to bat. See what he can get moving on for the Zebras. Dakota? Go, Howdy. How we doing? So far, so good. All right. Now, at long last, joining me on commentary, I got Mr. Jeremy Swango. Hey, Dakota. How are you doing? Doing good. How about you? Hey, not too bad. Awesome. Let's see what we got going on here. We got Warriors got a two to one lead here. All right. We still, where are we at? The top of the Bottom second. of the first. Bottom of the first, good. It's a good night for baseball. It is a good night for baseball. A little bit hot when the sun's on you, but other than that, pretty good. Yeah. Looks like you got lineups. I do got lineups for the Warriors and for the Zebras. Good job. And I've been kind of trying to keep stats here a little bit. Oh, good. Let's see how that turns out. I like that cloud right now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> of course, I say that and it's already <laughs> sliding by. Umpire is very patriotic, and well, both of them are very nice. Yes, they are wearing some stars and stripes. I was just saying something about that earlier. I I enjoy oh, how their yeah, uniform kind of sticks out a little bit yeah. more. Perfect way to kick the Memorial Weekend off, that's for sure. Oh yes, absolutely. Oh, a swing and a miss. We got strike two on that. Yep, count two two. Two 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 all across the board. Yeah. I see that they, uh, we're back far enough that we have to put the lower, uh, our lower thirds at the bottom again. Yes. And also have been having minor difficulties with our scoreboard, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Ball three now for, I do believe, as I said earlier, but I am quick to forget. Aiden Smith up to bat right now for the Zebras. Lobs one up. I had no yeah, idea where it went. covering their heads here. A foul ball, he's gonna have a full count. So we got runners at first and second, I see. Yep, and the pitcher's keeping a good eye out for, especially first base, he's been yeah. picking on the guy on first. <laughs> Should have brought my sunglasses. I should have too, or, so, or something. <laughs> Man, when that sun really gets you. Ooh, geez. It really gets All you. All four. Base is loaded. Go, bring him in, Aaron. We're sitting on two outs too, I see. Yes, we are. We've been sitting on two outs for quite some time now, actually. Bring him in, Aaron. Warriors are just looking to finish them off here so they don't get any kind of, you know, grasp on the points here to tie things up. Yeah. All right, number 17, who's that? Number 17, let's see what I got here on the sheet. Huffman. All right. Appreciate you getting everything all set up. No, no problem. Got a 1-1 one, one count here for Huffman. Ball low. It looked like he wanted to go for mm -hmm. it. Fought against it. Two balls, one strike. Ooh, foul ball. The contact went right back to, this, to the uh, fence here. All right, two two on the count. See what Huffman can do here. Ooh, he got him a good hit. Solid hit, way out there. Nice job, nice. And he dropped right out there, just past the guy out in left field. Able to get two of two his runners. runners. Here comes the third runner. He's going all the way for it. Can he make it? Nope. He's, he's going gonna back. Run him back. Nice all right. Job. All right. Zebras just tied the score. Go, Freeman, bring him in. Nice hit. Solid. Number one, Freeman for the Zebras now up to bat here. Let's see if he can knock one straight out there and bring in some more points for the Zebras. We got a timeout. Player. Must be a courtesy runner. Must be. Uh, let's see if I got a name on that sub. Number two, Campbell. <coughs> right. Up there subbing for a runner on second, Huffman. Huffman must be catching or pitching? Yes, he is a pitcher. Okay. Ooh, ball inside and low. We have runners on second and third. And three minute bat. One ball. Ball outside. Strike. Hey, he's coming in now. Let's go. Come on, Jay. There you go. Yeah. Nice yeah. job, Jay. Right out in the right field. Uh, get him a single and we get two runs in. Solid. Gives us a score of 2-5, Zebras. Jake Freeman pull one out there. 
Brings up number, looks like 33. I'll leave you with the name on that one. Number 33 for the Zebras. Pinder? Pinder or Pindle? Pindle, uh, okay. One or the other, I'm calling. It's handwritten. Ooh, a nice hit right straight to center field. Either way, solid. Yeah, get down. All right, a single and advances the runner on first to second. Number 11 up. Talk about a good rally here at the end of this. Oh, yeah, the Zebra's really making a comeback here. Yeah. Especially with two outs on the board. No kidding. They've gotten a lot accomplished here. Number 11, Zink coming back up to bat. All right, he's a good hitter. Ball low. <coughs> Excuse my cough here. Ball high. Inside. Down the third baseline for the force out. Retire the side. Score five two zebras. Great inning, Z. I got here late. When I got here, it was two one Warriors. Oh yeah, the zebras definitely for this inning made a Whew. to finish it off. Definitely made a comeback. Yeah, they did. Very impressive. That's how we did scoreboard, kind of like that last night. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to default to for now. That's fine. Come here. All right. Now the Warriors will have their chance to answer back to the Zebras. And see what they can get rolling here as the zebras are out here warming up. I do believe we got Huffman back up to pitch. And if uh, I've been keeping track of some things, I don't know how 100% it is, but I think so far he's only walked two people and he's only struck out one person hmm. so far. So let's see if he can keep a trend or at least force him to hit up pop-ups so that way his outfield's able to mm, catch him out pretty easily. How was your day today? My day was pretty good. Uh, got some work done and kind of just, you know, it was a pretty easy day, I'd have good. to say, for Friday. How about you? Eh, not bad. I have a... I was doing some furniture delivery today and Took on a late delivery right there towards the end of the day, and oh, man, I thought the game started at six. I thought I better verify. <laughs> so, this ball is all right. Outside. Ball low outside, number ten up to bat for the North Miami Warriors, and that would be Gage Cottle. Ooh. Well, on the inside. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Count two and one. He wanted that, but ball outside. <clears throat> Three one count for Cottle. Mm. 
Breeze feels good. Mm -hmm. Swing and a miss, strike two. Full count. Ball four, and he takes his base. And now up to bat for the North Miami Warriors, we got Braden Fennell. Number 23, Fennell. <laughs> Huffman's keeping the eyes in the back of his head, trying to make sure first baseman doesn't get yeah. any ideas. Runner's going to take a good lead. He's going to work him back. Make him work for it. Ball outside. Luke, he squares your crashes, right? Swing and a miss. One, one on the count. Not many clouds in the sky. Not at all. Ball low, low and outside. Two, one on the board. Still zero outs for the Warriors here. The runner on first. Yeah. <clears throat> Steve Reich. Let's get him, Aaron. They were all the hit right to the first baseman. Yeah. Wow. Uh, a double, double play. play. Amazing. Line drive right to the first baseman, and all he had to do was step on the bag, and he got it zunk down to the second baseman for the out. Great play there. Divas aren't giving the Warriors any leeway at no, all. No, no, two outs right away here. Ball low and outside. We have number five up to bat for the Warriors. Number five for the Warriors, that's Landon Thomas. Right out to center field. All right, runner takes first base. And we have number 18 up. Colton Floor for the Warriors. First base is ready. Ball outside. <laughs> Straight solid hit to center field, a pop up here. Can he get under it? He does he got for it. the out. Retires the side, brings the zebras back up to the bat. Now I got to be thinking, Warriors want to try and make sure to stop the Zebras from getting any more points because if yeah. they pull off another first inning, the Zebras are going to run away with it real early here. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see what they can do.
Number three for the Zebras looks like we'll be up first here. Number three for the Zebras is going to be McLaughlin. He was the first one for the Zebras to get a hit off in the uh, bottom of the first inning, which he had a double. So oh, wow. he's got some uh, showing up to do, stepping back up to the plate here. Yeah. Let's see if we can keep that trend going of getting his hits. And we got number, I do believe, 56 or 55. 56 up there pitching for uh, the Warriors, which is going to be different from our last pitcher. We got Austin Smith up there pitching for the Warriors instead of uh, Braden Binion. Which I guess they wanted to take him down for an inning, kind of cool him off a bit. Mm hmm Couple more warm up pitches and we'll be ready to start off here at the bottom of the second. First pitch. He bunts. Laughlin looking for a bunt. Had enough power on the end of that pitch to get it a foul ball. Now the Warriors should get ready here. He loaded up on that one, but he didn't take it. Ball high. Thinking about it, but he had good eyesight, able mm -hmm. to call that one out of there. Ball low. Two balls on a strike here. Ball outside. At the count, 3 1 for McLaughlin. Oh, what a nice hit. See if we can make it to first. Got him out. All right, number 10 up for the Zebras. Number 10 for the Zebras being uh, hunting, as I have here on my All right, Luke hunting. written sheet. Ball low and inside. Foul ball. He wants it, that's for sure. Trying to get a hold of it. Mm -hmm. One, two on the count. So far, hasn't had to walk anyone yet. This could be his first one here. But on the other hand, he's been doing pretty good for pitching for the Warriors so far. Ball inside. He's having his first walk. Come on, 
Number 20 for the Zebras. Medina, I do believe, as a uh, written roster says. And his last time he was up to bat, he was able to hit a single. So. All right. See if he can come out of the, the box here swinging. And that he does. Drop right into left field. He's looking to take another single. Yep. Runner the first to the second here. One out. Number six. Is that Aiden Smith? Number six for the Zebras, that is Kelly. Oh, Kelly. Okay. They want to bounce it down and get to the pitcher. Gets the uh, runner out at third. Good to prioritize, though. Mm -hmm. Get the guy out who's closer to home. Now we got number 13, Aiden Smith, up to bat for the Zebras. All right. See if he can get something rolling with the Zebras. They're sitting at two outs. Well, this is where I came in the game last inning. Two outs and Aiden Smith at the plate. Ball high. Ball low inside. Smith looking for that second baseman, keeping a sharp eye on him in the back of his head. Mm -hmm. the retire the side. Puts us in the inning the number three. All right, with that. Movement to the third inning. We're going to take a quick word from our sponsors here. All right. And we'll be right back. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff at Peterson Wagoner and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. All right, we're back after that short break, bringing a uh, top of the third. Looks like we've got number five up to bat here for the Warriors. Our pitching lineup is still the same. <laughs> and we got, I think that's our number 17 Huffman up there yeah. pitching. Yep. yep. And so far he's had three walks and one strike. A strikeout, so see what he can get moving here in the third. Oh, well, hopefully they play like they uh, did the last one. One, two, three. Should be. Let's see where they can get going. We got number 56 up to bat for the North Miami Warriors. That's going to be Austin Smith. Oh, 
thought about it. But then thought better of it. Mm hmm. See if we can make it to first. Yeah. Got him. Got him. Wow, what a play. It's good. Good. Now after Smith, we got Braden Benny in up to bat here for the, the uh, Warriors. Benny and two zero. Strike. Just looking for it. Couldn't quite get a grip on it. Ooh. A nice pop up here. Oh, but he dropped it. He got picked? Or he got dropped? He got it, but he dropped it. It's a bit of an error on that part, but Benny in on first. There he gets it. All right, two outs. All right. With a runner at first. And number 25 up to bat. Number 25 for the North Miami Warriors would be Ryan McGuire. That off the two zero. I've been keeping a sharp eye on that first baseman. Yeah. I think it's a foul, though. Yep. Get away, Pinder! Come on, babe. Come on, babe. Going two. Going up. It's outside the fence here. Good hustle by Medina. Woo. That makes you look a little bit of alive, you know? Just a little bit. Last thing I need is to get cracked in the head with one of those. <laughs> All right, two balls, two strikes, two outs. Ball three. 
Full count now for McGuire. What a nice solid hit. Launching it all the way out. Got past the uh, second baseman, got past the uh, center fielder, or right fielder, for a double. Runners on second and third. All right, we got number 12, Landon Hunt, for the Warriors up to bat now. I like his helmet. I do too. Very patriotic, yeah. much like the umpires. I guess they're all that way, though, aren't they? Not all. The last three have been. Solid hit. Yeah. Brings in two runs here. Benian and McGuire are able to come through. All right, we got a 5 4 game now. around in the dugout here for the Warriors. We got number three, uh, Jordan Gruinder up to bat now for the Warriors. All right, we got run up first. He's able to make right contact. Away. And for the out. Woo. Straight back to pitcher. All right, throwing it back over Zebra's way. See what they can do here. Last time the Warriors scored two points, Zebra's scored five, so. Maybe this is it. They keep the trend going. <laughs> I think I've said it before, but these chairs are comfortable, but they're almost too comfortable for this job. Yeah, just a little bit. Like I, ca I catch myself like leaning back and you know, kind of relaxing a little bit when uh, I should probably yeah. be, be a little bit more involved. Yeah, but that's fine. We'll be getting new chairs eventually. Yeah, it'll be good. Well, I'll tell you how relaxed I am. <laughs> I've I've laid back and I put my arms up to kind of shield the sun out of my eyes, and <sighs> I hear the snap of that ball in the mid. Like, was, <laughs> I, was I dozing? <laughs> Oh, goodness. Good day for baseball, though. Very good day for baseball. We got Austin Smith back up to pitch for the Warriors, who did a great job uh, last inning. He's now sitting with only one walk that I know of that I've got on record here. So, see if we can keep the trend up and strike out. Oh, he's looking good. Enough zebras to force a turnover. So, we're in inning four? Or change up. Yes. No, we're no, still three. in. No, we're in the bottom of the third. Bottom of third, yes. All right. For the zebras, we got. Well, hard to tell if I can't see his number. <laughs> That's fine, we'll see it eventually. Number 17. Huffman, who's sitting with, last time he was able to hit the ball, he got a double, so. Ball high. Ball low. 2-0 count, starting things off here. Oh He's able to get a hold of it. Yeah, right out the center field, was it? Go for 
I'd about say about. Left, left center. Left center, about. Got him a single on the deal. That'll work. All right, number one. I think that's Freeman, isn't it? Yes. And last time Freeman was up to bat, or last time he was able to hit off the pitcher, he got a single. Yeah, I think he hit it out to left field, didn't he? I think. Ball way outside, runner on first is going to go ahead and steal second with plenty of time. Able to do that with ease. Uh huh. He's able to steal second, call home, tell about it. Yeah. <laughs> Got a strike. One one here for Freeman. Ball high. Three one. Or 2-1, my bad. I'm just taking your word for it. <laughs> Ooh, bit strike low. on the swing. Bit low, but Freeman wanted it. He was going to go for it. 2-2 two -two on the count. That one was a bit low, pulling it to a full count. for the Zebras, Pendle. The last time was able to hit off the bat, was able to get a single mm, going for him. A miss. He's a hitter, he'll go for it. One and one on the count. Runner at second. And first. He got hit by the ball, but he also kind of banked off of it, so it's yeah. a foul ball. Mm, right on the fingers. Here, huh? Yeah. Two two on the count. <laughs> Low and inside. We have a full count now.
struck him out. And now up to bat, I think we're back up to number 11. Should be zinc if we are. I think it is. Yep. Zinc just able to smack it out to about left center here. Advance all the runners, get himself a single. All right, bases are loaded with one out. With Tarek McLaughlin back up to bat. McLaughlin up to bat. Once again, last time he was able to hit it, he got a double, but he got out last time, so let's see if we can get something going here. He thought about it. He prepped for it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, a nice solid hit out in the left field. He's able to get a runner Robinson in. Robinson rolls, looks like all the way to the fence. We got one run in. He's gonna get two. Get ready to get two. Here. I think he himself uh -huh. sits with another double. Very good hit. Gives us a score of 4-7. Zebra's only sitting with one out. After that, we got hunting up to bat. count to one. Come on, Luke. All right, strike two. Two, two on the count. Ball high. Way high. The runner looking to steal home. Just that. Things are scored at eight to four. There's still only one out for now. But hunting looking in danger territory with a full count. We've got a runner on third, too. Bit low, that'll walk him. Yep. That brings up number 20. Number 20, which will be Medina. He's just got two singles to his name here, up to bat. And that's all you really need to get your runners to advance, so. Runner on first, keeping in check here. <laughs> A bit late on that swing by Medina. First base was able to steal second. Yeah. Bring him in, E. 
Hey, we'll foul ball. Get a hold of it, but roll foul. Nice try, Let's go, buddy. Zero to two on the count. He wants it, though. Third also getting checked out, making sure he's where he needs to be. Come on, E. Somebody want it, make a play. Yeah. Solid hit, deep center. Yeah. All right. He's able to get one runner in. They're the ones going to stay at. Third, probably a smart move yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, they got the ball in pretty quick. All right, bring the score four nine. Rochester. Uh -huh. Another hit for number six, Kelly. Right to the first baseman for the out. But he got a bat, he got a runner in. Yeah, he did. So number that. 10. <laughs> like I said before, Belt called it last time. Warriors were able to score two. Rochester's able to answer back with five. Mm -hmm. Now we got Aiden Smith up to bat, I do believe, number 16, or 13, my bad. One ball, zero strikes, two outs. Ball, very high. Ooh, pretty good to me. Uh oh, get down. Ooh. Got in underneath it, good. Ooh, just barely able to steal third. Mm -hmm. Got him set up. If Smith can get a hit here, he should be able to run him in, bring the score up to 11. A little conference here at the mound. Hopefully they will get some strategy talked up there. Right here, Aiden, let's go. See what Smith can get going here. All right. Three balls, zero strikes. He's sitting pretty comfy up here. There's a strike. Ah, he's staying corrected. <laughs> <laughs> well, these headsets get really hot, don't they? Yeah, they do. Woo. I feel the sweat in my ears. Yeah, it's in real how warm they are. Oh, low. There's that walk. All right, that brings up Huffman again. If my memory serves me correct, number 17. Yes, Huffman. He's got a double and a single to his name while up on bat, so let's see what he can do. Let's get him three for three here. Strike. Thought about it. Seabers have been really able to do a lot on two outs tonight. It's been quite a show. Oh, yes, they have. He's been on top of it for sure. A bit Ooh. low. Ball. He wants that. Run on first, still second. Ooh, Ooh. strike two. One ball and two strikes. Oh, 
Ooh, a nice hit. Right, 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 bro. Oh, uh, you got him got out. It. it was close. I wasn't sure second baseman was going to come up with the ball there, but he was able to. Kind of fumbled around with it there on the ground, and I thought Huffman might just have a chance to get there, but just a hair short. All right. Well, since that was the bottom of that inning, we're going to cut out for a little bit and take a our sponsors. Yep, a word from our sponsors. We'll be right back. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank, online at firstfederalbanking.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. All right. We're back at the top of the fourth now, starting things off. Zebras lead 10-4. to four. Heading in here. Yeah, that's a pretty good lead we got. Uh, absolutely. And it looks like, I think we got a different pitcher for the Zebras now going here. Yeah, Number 11, good. Zink. I've seen him pitch before. He's a good pitcher. That should be good if the Zebras can just kind of silence out the Warriors here. Mm -hmm. They might run away with an early win. Let's see what they can do. See, throwing some practice pitches here, making sure he's all warmed up and ready to go. I think we got number 13 for the Warriors sitting off to the side, getting ready to come up, and that's going to be. No, we don't have a number 13. We have. We do have a number 13. Is he not on your list? I don't see him on my list. Hmm. Unless that's not 13. Yeah. No, that's 13. It's 13. Not on the list though. Unless we're both dyslexic here. Very possible. Very possible. <laughs> We have a 31. <laughs> <laughs> but we got number five after him. Hmm. And we got that. So I'm going to say this is Fennel, but it might not be at the same time. Mm -hmm. We'll find out. I'll kind of keep an ear out to see if someone yells his name and see what we got. Yep, that is Braden Fennel. All right. I wonder why they got him as number 23 on here instead of 13. <sighs> Ball two. Side. Good, Zink, so far not being able to pull off any strikes here, which is what the Zebras need to keep the Warriors back yeah. at bay, but... Ball way outside. It's going to walk him. On a 4-0 count, Let's see if he can get anything rolling here for number five, uh, Landon Thomas, who in his career for this game of hit, coming up to bat, he's hit a single, so... Let's see what he's got here. Yeah. So he keeping an eye on that first baseman. Mm hmm. Hey, Luke, you play? Again, keeping an eye on him, making him work for that steal if he wants it. Mm hmm. Again. 
Ooh. Oh, What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Thomas able to knock it up and out. out. <laughs> Just out the wrong way. <laughs> exactly. With the sun in my eyes off to the side, I don't even want to try and like look up to <laughs> see where it's going. I'm just going to shield myself and hope for the best. You're either going to get blinded and hit in the face, or just, oh, threw a wild ball here. We're going to steal second and third. Yikes. Bit of an wow. error there for the zebras. Yeah. Oh, a nice hit right off the center field. It's going to bring the runner on third in. Get our batter a good single. 10 5 on the scoreboard. Ball outside. We got number 18, Colton Floor, up to bat here. Foul ball. We'll catch a piece of it, but not enough that to get it going. Ooh, wow, big. Well, yeah, almost caught it out there in the outfield. Get the runner over to third, and he's going to get a double out of that. Wow, what a hit. That was a nice, solid hit. Zebra's making a conference call of their own. Yes, they are. North Miami did this, and they it worked for them. Mm -hmm. So hopefully they can kind of settle some nerves down here and come up with a little bit of a plan to move forward here and get out of the city. Mm -hmm. Or at least get an out. We got number 56, Austin Smith up to bat right now for the Warriors. You sound a little tired, Dakota. Uh, long day, huh? It's been a long day. And the heat isn't helping because it's no, kind of cozy out yeah, here now. Yeah. Get the heat, that breeze. Yeah. And these seats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just a combination I, I of disaster. I kind of feel like Scott set us up for failure here. Well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> We start sawing logs or something. Yeah. Of course, they say that now, and he's going to end up buying us, like, uncomfortable yeah. steel chairs. <laughs> Straight back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> going for that swing there for Austin Smith. That's going to put his count 0-2 here. It all seems like Zink's caught some wind here, dude. Zink's going to throw a strike here. Ball outside high. Warriors still got runners in second and third. They're itching to make some points move here. Ball low. Good job, E. Runners certainly wanting to steal here. Never come back here like 
Ooh, he wanted it. Keep it up, Braden. Full count. is loaded, no outs. North Miami set up pretty good right now. Number 55, Binion. Up for bat for the Warriors right now. And his hitting career consists of one single so far tonight. Hmm. Getting a little relief from that sun, thank goodness. Yeah. Kind of feels pretty good. Popping it way up. See the zebras are on top of that one. He's got it. Yeah, for the out. All right, two outs on the board. One out, that was their first one. Oh, was it the first? I think so. Yep, you're right. Still loaded bases, though. Mm -hmm. Got number 16, Joey Horn, up to bat now for the Warriors. Ooh, he wants it. Man, he swung at a high one. Yeah, he's swinging for the fences I, there. I, that I, one. I would send him another high ball. Ooh. Got me close. Mm hmm. 1 1 on the board here for a horn. Joey Horn. Ball two. Two balls on a strike. One out. And a nice breeze. Popping it way up. up. See the zebras can get on it. He's, underneath He's got it. Out. Nice throw, nice throw. Zebras are on top of it on the outfield. Yeah, they are. All right, now we're at two outs. Let's hold them, Pete. Let's hold them. Yes, we are. And quite honestly, with bases loaded here, I'm going to be... Pretty impressed if the yeah, Zebras were able to keep them hold yeah. out. We got number 25, Ryan McGuire, up to bat, and his hitting career consists of a double so far tonight. Let's see if we can keep the trend going. Ooh. That's foul. Yeah, it's going to be foul ball. Or maybe not. Was it in play? Nope, but foul ball. Foul ball. Warriors are so on top of it, they were running for their bases. I figured, well, maybe it was good. Mm -hmm. McGuire's proven so far tonight he's a hitter, so yeah, if he, he sees is. it anywhere near his, his range, he's going to swat for it. Mm -hmm. And there we are. Pitch two, hit two. They get a hold of it. Got it. He got it. He's out. Wow. The zebras were able to hold Amazing. him. I am impressed. Loaded him up and got him out. All right, Zebra's sitting in a good position to start, you know, running yeah. away with it. So let's see what they can do here at the bottom of the fourth. <laughs> Those don't sound comfortable, do they? No, they do not. Well, we know that who we know somebody's staying in the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Warriors taken out to the field, and they're going to see if they can hold the Zebras at 10 so they can try and catch up. 
they got about a half an hour to do it because if I'm not mistaken, these games are like the other ones we've covered. They only go by a time limit, right? Yep. So a half an hour, though, that should be plenty of time to try. Oh, yeah. Maybe hold them off if they do it quick and then try and you know, come uh, to take think of over. It, these chairs are terribly uncomfortable. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> like, I can't, like my back, I'm going to have lower lumbar problems by the time I get out of here. Take back anything I said about these chairs being comfortable. <laughs> yeah, what were we thinking? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> For the Warriors, we got number 18, Colton Floor up to. Colton Floor up to pitch. Hmm. We've had three pitchers so far from the Warriors rotating people out. We started with Benny and then we went to Smith. Now we're at Floor. Hmm. Let's see what he can offer to the table here for the bottom of the fourth. It looks like off to the side we got number 51 for the Zebras. One of their subs, Cody Smith. Hmm. So I've yet to see how he performs tonight. Let's see what he can do here. Which is nice, you know. You get oh, yeah. bottom of the fourth, you got a nice lead. Yeah, might as well bring him the subs yep, if you can. Bring him in. Get him in get him into the game. Yeah. All right. Got our pitches going through. Number 51, Smith up to bat. Let's see what he can do. Zebra's sitting at a pretty comfy lead, so. Pretty good shot of the game tonight. Yeah. Covered by as much as we could. It's a good Strike. pitch. Ooh, it's all the hit sending it out back near us. Got a grip on it, so we can definitely hit it. See yeah. if Smith can keep the trend going and actually launch it out. He got a good feel for it right there. Ooh, he wanted that low ball. He was thinking about Ooh. it. Don't get too eager there, buddy. <sighs> Another oh. low one. 2-2 two -two on the count. Ball outside. Good eye for uh, Mr. Smith there. Full count for him. Let's see if he can hold out here and maybe walk. Oh, no. struck him out. So Colton, for his first time pitching here for the Warriors tonight, gets a strike out. Or mm -hmm. struck a guy out. Solid. All right, we got 33 up here. Who's 33 again? 33 for the Zebras is Pendle. That's right, Pendle. And in his hitting career tonight, he's got a single up to his name, so. All right. Ball low. Way back, I down there and all the Two balls, one strike, one out. Reminder of the score is 10-5 Rochester Zebras. Ooh, swing and 
Strike on the swing there. He's looking for it. He wants it. Mm-hmm. Now I just heard somebody behind me calling Pinder. It must be Pinder then, because this is. Yeah. The writing's a bit off. Well, we got that fixed. So yeah. apologies to yep. Pinder for Struck mispronouncing him out. Him. Colton Floor is on fire. Two up, two down. Yeah, he's got a pretty good fastball, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Ooh, nice hit. Is that a solid hit? Yeah, right after right field. He's able to get a single out of it. Yeah. Brings up number three. Come on, Tarek, bring me in now. Tarek McLaughlin? Wait on it, All right, McLaughlin, he's got two doubles to his name tonight. Yeah, he probably wants to get a third one to his name. Probably. And the Zebras, I imagine, would be okay to have that. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> They're going to work him back to first base here a couple times. Yeah, Floor's keeping a sharp eye on him. McLaughlin struck by the pitch. He'll get his run, or he'll get his walk. Yeah, he will. <clears throat> Brings up Luke Hunting. Luke Hunting's a hitter, I think. And he's got yet to put one, or oh. hit one as he's been up to bat, but I'm sure he's been walked several times tonight. Well, there's a hit. Yeah, That'll work. That was a uh, pretty quick three up and out. Yes, that was. That's going to bring us to the end of the fourth. I think we're going to hear another word from our sponsors here real quick. Sounds and like we'll a good idea. Be right back after that. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester treats you like family. Shepherd's offers a wide variety of new and certified pre-owned vehicles to fit your budget. Stop out for your test drive today online at shepherdsrochester.com. Woodlawn Hospital, offering state-of-the-art care for Fulton County for over 100 years. Woodlawn Hospital is the area's health care leader. Comprehensive care from head to toe online at woodlawnhospital.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. All right. I do believe we are back. All right. Let's see what North Miami's got here. We got, let's see, number 12, Landon Hunt coming up to bat here as soon as the Zebras are done warming up their pitching arms and Getting all prepped up for the fifth inning here. We got number 11, Zink, back up to, to uh, pitch for the Zebras. And so far for his pitching, I've counted one walk and zero strikeouts. So well, <clears throat> Let's see what he can pull off here for him. Yeah. One of the last few warm up pitches, and now number 12, Landon Hunt up the bat. All righty. And with that in his career so far for hitting, he's got a single to his name, so let's see if we can add on to that. And he does. Pops it up. Straight up. Ooh, popped up it. right to the pitcher for an out. Let's go, 
gone just as fast as he was up. Yeah. Yeah, that's just how it goes sometimes. Yep. That's all right. At least he got a hold of it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, another pop-up. Up and a foul for number three. Three, which will be Jordan Grunder. In the dirt in front of the plate. It'll be ball one. Ball one, strike one. One, one. One, one, one. All across the board. <laughs> Ball outside. 2-1 count. Ooh, nice hit. hit right out to center field. Has he got it? Yeah. He's got it. Wow, what a play. Two up, two down for the Zebras. They ain't letting them get any ground. No. Well, that's what you want them to do. You want them to hold them here. Right. You want to take a lead and you want to keep the lead the entirety. Yep, and so far, they've done just have, that. They've done that. Yes, they have. And now we got up to bat, I do believe. I didn't see number one. No. I can't tell. 13. 13, which will be Braden Fennel. Ooh, he wanted it. I was thinking about it, hesitated. Mm -hmm. 2-0 for Fennel. Fennel. Mm. 3-0. Staying patient there in the box. Might just get him on first base. There we go. Frank gets him a strike right there. 3 1. See if Zink can keep up the, uh, the momentum here. Get two more of those. Ooh, Ooh, swing on and a miss or strike two. Full count here. See what Fennel does. Ooh. Able to we'll get a hold of it. I think he's a foul. Foul ball. Staying alive. Yep. Clean him in. Struck him out. He's gone. And I'll bring us to the bottom of the fifth. Zebra is now up to play. Let's see what they can do. Zebras are in a good position to run away with it. Mm-hmm. But the Warriors were able to hold them off last time they were put in this position, so. Yeah. Let's see if we can just see stay at a stalemate. Looks like we got Colton Floor back up to pitch for the Warriors, which he's got so far no walks and two strikeouts. Yeah. He's got him some heat on his arm right there, I tell you what. Yeah, he's he's doing pretty good for the mm -hmm. Warriors up here in the pitching box. Yeah. Get the thing fired right in there. It looks like to come up to bat here soon. We'll have number 20, Medina. Or Medina, Medina. Yep, my bad. Medina. That's okay. And to his name, so far, he's got three singles. So. Yeah, let's see if he can get a fourth single on there. Yeah, keep the trend going. Yeah. Got any plans for the weekend? So far, none. Just kind of rolling with the how things turn out, I guess. All right. Something well. happens, something happens. If not, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm just rolling with the flow. That's how I like to do it. How about you? Well, I've got a couple cookouts planned with family. So. Ooh, fun. fun. Yeah, it should be. My mom's been in Texas, and she'll be back Sunday, and eager. excited to see her. Awesome. Hear about her trip and get some of that good old uh, food off the grill. Yeah. It's been good weather outside to just cook out yeah. these past few days. Yeah. All right. It's definitely beautiful, so. Yeah. All right, here comes pitch one. Ooh, hit him. Dana will take the first. And number six for the Zebras, Kelly coming up to bat. So far, number six and number 13, Aiden Smith and Kelly have not been able to get a hit out here, so let's hope that changes mm, here in yeah. this inning. Floor keeping an eye on first baseman. Yeah, I'm doing all the pitchers have been doing a really good job watching that first base runner and uh, with his, their lead offs trying to see if they can get him out. Ball inside. He just sends that sailing though. Yes, he does. Kelly keeping a good eye on it. Mm -hmm. 1 0 on the count. Pitch two. I and got it. Hit. Right to the shortstop who gets, lets it go right through his hands. Uh, Zebras get a little bit of luck there. In that error. Kelly's able to get a single. Now leaving Aiden Smith all by himself without a hit so far tonight if he is up to bat. Mm -hmm. Number two, right? Oh, uh, no, that's number 13. All right, instead of Aiden Smith, we got Campbell up to bat now. All right. Who still doesn't have a hit either, but let's see yeah. what he can do. I do believe he was walked last time. I'm not 200% sure. Ooh, strike. Yeah, that could have been a good play for the Warriors. They could have possibly turned that into a double play. Um, but just couldn't feel the ball too good. The runners are going to steal. And they do. They got second and third. Yeah, on a wild pitch. Oh, I can't believe we'll get a hit. Not Harry, he wanted it though, but that's all right. He'll get a runner get, in. Gets a run in, so he gets an RBI. All right, one out on the board. Score 11-5, Zebras. Runners, a runner on uh, third. Ball way in the dirt. Runner comes in. For an easy score. All right, 12-5. Number 17, I do believe for the Zebras, Huffman's up to bat yeah. right now. And he's sitting with a double and a single to his name tonight. All right, no runners on. Ooh, a nice hit out to the left field, but it does go foul. He straightened that out. That'd be a good hit. Yeah, it would. An easy double. Mm, oh, yeah. There was nobody in sight there. 1-1 one, one for his count. And one out, too. Ball high. Ball 
ball outside. Counts three and one. Yeah, good position to walk. Let's see what happens. If he does, it will be uh, Colton's, Colton Floor's first walk, I do believe, if I've been keeping that stat right. We'll find Ooh, out. Oh, a nice hit right out the center field. Solid hit. Has he got it? He does. Got it. Good work right. by center field. Yeah, two outs. And as we found so far tonight, Rochester's just fine with two outs on the board. Yeah, they do. They it's like they get busy when they get two outs on that board. Yeah. Now they realize. All right, now we got to pick up the heat. Yeah. We got number one Freeman up to bat, and he's got a all single right. to his name. Ball coming in there a little low. Maybe that might not be Freeman though. It's Cody Smith. Yep, they're putting in their subs, so get confused. Yeah, I do believe that is Cody Smith up there. Number 51. One ball, one strike. Ball outside. You got it, Cody. Come on, buddy. Two one count for Cody Smith. Ball outside, no runners on. Got a count of three one right now. Zebras have a little cushion here with the score twelve five. Ball low, low inside. He'll get a base. All right, thirty three comes back up. And that'll be Pinder, and he's got a single to his name. I do believe he struck out last time. See what he can get going up here. Got to run around first, see if we can advance him. Hopefully he's watched this pitcher enough to time him up a little bit. Ball way outside. He would have needed to have the uh, go-go gadget arms to hit that. <laughs> Trying to get the runner at first. Just keeping his eye out. They've been good about it. Go, Pender, you're due. Let's go. Happy to report that the sun is no longer a situation for us. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful out here. It is, with a nice little breeze coming yeah. through. Jeez. 2-0 now for Pender. Try to get the runner at first. Nothing going there. Oh, way outside. Gives our runner at first. Plenty of time to steal second. He does. We got 3-0 now on the count. Yeah, Pinder's just got to stay patient now. Very dusty situation out here. Very. <clears throat> See if Colton gets his first walk here of the night. Got a bit of an equipment issue here for our catcher. Getting repositioned. Putting equipment back on. All right. I think he's going to get set again. Ooh, that was close. But ball four. He'll get his base. That brings up Braden Zink. Zink's now got, to his name, two singles. So let's see if we can add to the, uh, add to that. Ball low, in the dirt. Oh, 
Good pitch. Solid strike right yep. there. One and one. Two outs. Runners on first and second. Zinc in the box. Ball coming low. low. Coaches send their runners. Stealing second and third. All right. Zinc's in a position now to get an RBI. Setting up pretty good. Mm -hmm. See if we can finish it out. I think last time he hit about right to first base and got an RBI, didn't he? I think so. About. Yeah. Got a 3 1 count. Oh, foul ball. A solid hit, full count. Mm -hmm. Caught that on the inside of his bat there. Well, on the lower part of it. Ball, oh, oh. took one to the shoulder. It's all right. Bases are loaded. Walking that one off, we got number three coming up, McLaughlin. McLaughlin. He's got two doubles. Let's see if we can keep the trend going. I think McLaughlin's been in this position several times. Yes, he has. Ball. Way outside. Ball high. Glosson looks disappointed that the ball isn't coming his way. He wants to hit it. Mm -hmm. I'd look for one to come right down the center now. Yeah. 2-0. Oh! Oh. Jeez. Inside. 3-0. Oh, smashed nice. it. Yes. Fell right out there. Way out there. There's one run. The Warriors were able to get a hold of it pretty quick, yeah, though. Yeah, they were. All right, we got a runner in. Base is still loaded. Derek with a single. All right, we got number 10, Hunting on. He's got a single to his name. All righty. Let's see what we can do here. Warriors looking to have a little conference meeting here. Yep. Gives Luke a little time with his coach. Looks like they got a new pitcher up there. Hmm. That's just practicing throwing. Nah, I think they changed out their pitchers. I think they got Joey Horn up there now. All right. He didn't have near as much heat behind his throw. No. 
Wonder if they're trying to look to maybe get the zebras to pop one up for an easy catch. That could out. be. But I'm not sure. The zebras have the bases loaded here. Scores 13-5. Luke Cunning's looking to get in there and do something. Throwing the warm-up pitches, still got a meeting going on in the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just having a little trouble holding on the ball tonight. Yeah. like we're ready. Maybe. There we go. Luke's up in the... Well... Okay. I think we're ready. I think so. Strike one. If his job was to get in there and throw a strike, he's a third of the way there. Strike two. Yeah. Luke gave him that one for sure. Swinging for the fences on that one. Mm -hmm. All right. 0-2 oh, on the count, two outs. Strike three, struck him out. He's gone. Ending to that, moving on into the sixth inning, we're going to take a quick break and a word from our sponsors, and we'll be right back. This broadcast is brought to you in part by these local sponsors. Blue Dragon Taekwondo. Whether you want to learn self-defense, physical cross-training, or looking to compete in national tournaments, Blue Dragon Taekwondo is the area's leading martial arts authority. Online at tkdbluedragon.com. RTC Fiber Communications. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice, data, and video connectivity for the 21st century. Local service, local support, local investment. Online at rtc1.com. Please support the local businesses that help us bring you this production. All right, and we're back with our sixth inning now with the Warriors starting us off up to bat. All right, score 13-5. For the Zebras, we still got number 11, the Zinc up to pitch on the mound. I think for the Warriors, we got number 5 up 
to start things off for them. We don't have a number five. Oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong side. Never mind. <laughs> Landon Thomas up, and he's got two singles to his name here tonight. Strike one. It won't hurt my feelings if this is three up and three down. It wasn't either, mine either. Yeah. Able to hit that short. Looking to get him out at first. He's gone. All right. Good fielding by the Zebras there. Yes, indeed. Going back up to the top of the line, Colton Floor, number 18, should be up to bat now. And he's got a double to his name. Probably looking to expand it. Ball high. Ball outside. Ball low. Count now 3 0 for Colton Floor. There we go. Strike. Ball outside. Just gonna walk him. Number 18 takes his base. Zink's now sitting. If I got the stats here right, two walks and one strikeout tonight as he's been up for pitching. Now we got should be number 56, Austin Smith up. You're just keeping a sharp eye on that first baseman. Mm -hmm. Looking to catch that runner just a little too far, but strike one. Oh, swing and a miss. Ball low and outside. Count one all the way across the board. Pop up. Pop it up. It's out. We're safe. Cool. <laughs> all right, one ball and two strikes. One out. 13-5, Zebras, ball two, runner at first, full count. Strike three on swing and a miss. Brings up two outs. Number five up to bat. Or, no, 55. Number 55 being Braden Binion, who's got a single to his name tonight. Do a little dance in there in the box. Swing and a miss for a strike. Let's 
Ball low and outside. Runner steals third. All right. One ball, no strikes, two outs. We have a runner on third. Solid hit. Solid hit right out to center field. Warriors will get it one in. And number 55 gets a single. Scores now 13-6. Here's number 16 for the Warriors. That being Joey Horn. Young man was just pitching, right? Yep. Ball high. Pitch two coming in here. We got a solid hit. hit. Yeah, get him out. Cannot get underneath it. For a single. Runner advances. We got runners on first and second. All right. Well, we got two outs. We just need one out here to end this. We got Ryan McGuire up to bat. He's got a double to his name. Ball low. Mm. Ball. From here, it looked pretty good. Yeah, I thought it was good. But he saw something we didn't. Ump always rules. That foul being a ball. foul in the top of the box. Yep, yeah, it's all the way over in the practice football field. All right, that's two balls, one strike. Hit another one. Near us. Right behind us. All right, 2-2. Two, two. There's twos all across the board again. Yep. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Put the ball in play. Think he's going to get out. Got him out at first. Ends the inning. It's going to end the game. Let's see. Unless we're going to go ahead and bat. Nope, looks like we're playing the bottom of the six here for Rochester, I think. It looks like it. Like for the North Miami Warriors, we got number 16, Joey Horn, back up to pitch. I think we got 20 for the Zebras, Medina. Medina? Medina, my bad again. <laughs> I was pronouncing it good earlier, and now all of a sudden I'm just dropping it. That He's, sun got to you. Yeah, I guess so. He'll be up to bat for the Zebras. He's got three singles to his name still. See if we can keep his trend going. Mm -hmm. 
Last practice pitch. I think we're ready to kick things off for the bottom of the six here. Yep. to the pitcher. He's gone. Wow. One up, one down right away. We got Kelly coming up next. He's got a single to his name tonight. Oh, Kelly getting on it. Foul. single. Then we got number two Campbell up to bat right now for the Zebras. With a foul ball. Gets a hit on it. Camera. Don't ruin the streak, Campbell. I didn't have to get up and adjust it at all today. <laughs> so far we look okay. But that's <laughs> been a been a good day for the camera, hadn't it? Yeah. Ball low. Still in first. Or second. stealing second. First is stealing second. I had it. I had the idea in mind. Yeah. I knew what you meant. Hey. <laughs> All right, 1-1 one, one. with one out. Score 13-6, Rochester Zebras. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Foul ball. Still staying alive. Yep. Little baby's not happy. No, I can hear him in the background. Yeah. 
One ball, two strikes. Mm. Strike three. He's Struck him out. Out. Joey Horn for the Warriors. So far, if I got my stats right, zero walks, two strikeouts for him now. All right. And we got number 17 for the Zebras up here. Huffman. He's got a double and a single to his name. Yeah, we got a runner at second. Setting on two outs here. Ball low and in the dirt. In front of the plate. Mm -hmm. Ball two inside. Strike. There it is. Excuse me. Ooh, strike two, foul ball there. Got a hold of it, still alive. Two all the way across the board. Yeah. Strike three. So you know what happened there? I think he barely tapped it. That's the uh, drop uh, strike three. If they drop the ball, the catcher drops the ball on strike three, the runner gets an opportunity to run. Oh, all right. That's kind of, I wonder how you'd be able to catch Okay, I see how you, okay, all right, all right. I wasn't aware of that one. Like, that's the first time I've seen that. Well, they got a runner in, that brings the Zebras up 14 to six. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's called drop third strike. I think we got Cody Smith now up to bat for the Zebras. Ball low and outside, which is ball two. Strike. Two balls on a strike. A runner in second. See if uh, Cody Smith can get anything going. 3 1 count now. Another ball. Ball four. Cody gets his base. Brings up batter number 33. That'll be Pinder, and he's got a single to his name. Let's see what he can do. All right, we got runners at first and second. Two outs. Strike one on the pitch. Strike, Strike two, two on the swing. He wanted it, couldn't quite get it. Man, that was in there low, too. I, geez. Yeah. 
All right, I want two. What? Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Hit by it. That's going to put bases loaded now. Oh, boy. We got Zink up to bat, number 11. And he's got two singles to his name, which with loaded bases, it's all you need, really. Right. Yeah. Just got to hit the ball and put it in play. Ball in the dirt. Ball one. Ball two. Ball three. We may end up walking a run in. Yeah, they just might. Ooh. Hit by the pitch. I believe he was hit last time, too. I think he was. That's going right. to brings in a run. Walk a guy in. <laughs> brings the score up 15 to 6. Zebras. All right. Brings up number three, Terry McLaughlin. McLaughlin's got two doubles and a single. He's a hitter. Ball low. Ball outside. Ball. 3-0. McLaughlin wants it. Mm -hmm. Just waiting for it. 3-0, no, I'd, I'd find something and go for it. But when they're that far out, they'll walk another one in. Yep. Sixteen to six. I think that's a ten mercy rule right yep. there. That ends the game. It's going to be zebra sixteen. North Miami Warriors six. six. Well, this has been some good good game tonight here tonight. Thank you for watching, and um, I guess we'll close it out, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Once again, I'm Dakota Hayden, alongside with Jeremy Swango, and thanks for tuning in to RTC TV4. We'll see y'all the next time.